Hello everybody, hola a todos, cześć wszystkim. In this video about Keycloak, I'm going to show you how to set up user federation using LDAP. I will use JumpCloud service. I already used JumpCloud in my single sign-on SAML to zero video. JumpCloud offers also LDAP integration, which is great. So if you don't have a single sign-on SAML or LDAP providers, definitely you should check these guys out. Please also check out my previous videos about uh, Keycloak and identity management. First, about setting up Realm, clients, custom password policies and MFA in Keycloak. The second one about setting up single sign-on SAML to zero. The third one about setting up single sign-on using OAuth2 and GitHub. Okay, so let's start with LDAP integration now. Let's navigate to Keycloak. Let's say that we have uh, another customer who doesn't support single sign-on, doesn't support SAML nor OpenID. They are basically IT dinosaurs. However, they have LDAP. The question is, can we help them? Yes, we can. So let's create customer five and let's go to user federation at provider LDAP and here we will configure cloud uh, jump cloud um, server I will use a uh, jump cloud uh, documentation uh, go to support.jumpcloud.com and look for LDAP directory. Uh, there's information about how to set it up, how to query the directory, how to troubleshoot uh, the directory using uh, LDAP search uh, command line. Uh, really useful. Okay, so uh, in here uh, from the vendors, you can see that. Uh, None of them is jump cloud, so we are going with other. Some of the attributes are uh, automatically populated for us. That's fine. That's great. Uh, let's uh, copy the URL and let's uh, paste it in here. Let's test the connection. Yeah, it's working fine. Uh, so let's uh, finish uh, the rest of the configuration. Uh, users uh, DNS. Uh, uh, the answer uh, it's uh, it's this one we have to just uh, change the org uh, your org ID to our uh, identifier or I can do this from jump cloud I will copy it okay uh, and now I'm using the bind type uh, simple so I need a integration user that I will uh, configure uh, in here and this user will be used by Keycloak to, um, to query LDAP uh, directory and uh, use it to synchronize the, the users. So if you uh, see my users, they are A-Bootnik, B-Bootnik, C-Bootnik, A, B, C are just first names and there is an LDAP integration user and this LDAP integration uh, has LDAP bind DN uh, enabled. It means that this is the admin integration user that uh, I will be using to talk to uh, this LDAP uh, directory. So I'm going to uh, view the details of this user. I'm going to use the DN. Okay. I have password on the second screen, so I'm going to quickly copy it. Okay, let's test authentication. Yeah, it worked just fine. The other uh, settings that uh, are worth enabling is for sure the uh, sync, and I will enable periodic full sync. Okay, I'm going to see, uh, hit save. Okay, I will sync all users now.
okay and we see four users were imported let's take a look at them okay so something is wrong you can see that the first name is actually the display name as i mentioned abc were first names and it looks like uh, we have uh, a display name uh, here right so uh, we have to fix this let's go to user federation let's remove imported users okay and let's take a look at the mappers we have uh, last name and first name last name was correctly mapped so let's see that its definition last name ldap attribute sn okay and uh, first name the attribute is cn in uh, jump cloud as i mentioned earlier uh, there's also uh, a command that you can use to query your directory and uh, review the the schema so let's do this i already have this query uh, with my uh, organization id and my ldap uh, uh, user uh, in here i will copy the password from my second screen okay and uh, we have the results mm. And we can see that uh, CN attribute is the, the last name, uh, that, that's fine. Uh, SN, sorry, SN. CN is actually the display name, the first name and the last name. But the, there is a different attribute, which is the given name. So we have to uh, update uh, our mapper, not to use CN, but instead to use given name so let's quickly do this so first name in ldap attribute is given name okay let's save it uh, if we want we can add uh, other mappers in here for example you can use hard-coded attribute mapper uh, and you can um, define for example email verified and set it to true uh, so that uh, all users imported from the LDAP will have uh, email verified set to true. Uh, I will skip it for the purpose of this demo uh, and uh, let's synchronize all users now. Okay, four users were imported and yeah, much better. Uh, first name is now correctly uh, mapped okay uh, last thing that we have to do is to test if the imported users uh, actually work okay i will use i will copy the password from my second uh, screen yeah and I'm in username a budnik email is correct first name is correct last name is correct so all is working uh, just fine I'm in and that's uh, all for uh, for now uh, in the next video I'm going to show you how to work with JSON web token uh, in a simple application using OAuth 2 uh, proxy and HR proxy stay tuned hit like and subscribe buttons thank you